too PDB or not too PDB? That is the question I should have asked before I even started. I wasn't planning on doing any sort of videos about PDBs because they're pretty basic, not much to do with them and I thought we hard to mess up, but no. Trust me to just dive in and make a total hames of it. What I had originally done was soldered the XT60 connector directly to the board. But what I didn't do was check the polarity and I soldered it on incorrectly. I made a hames of it, pretty much. I done positive to negative and negative to positive, so I had to undo it, unsolder, and boy God was that an absolute nightmare. So, I'm, I'm, in the end, I'm glad I made that mistake, because now I know that it's so much better and so much easier to add cable to it, or if you do make mistakes like that, you can just do the, the cable, plus, if anything happens to the connector itself, it's so much easier just to solder on a bit of a wire instead of unsoldering from the PDB. And as you can see from the state of my PDB, all squashed and marked and ruined, the hassle I had trying to separate it was ridiculous. So in answer to the question, uh, two PDB are not two PDB, the answer is not two PDB. Don't direct solder the XT60 connector to the PDB for the main reason that if this connector gets damaged, you're going to have a hell of a time unsoldering it. All I can say is, thank God I had one of these. A solder sucker, because without this, I would never have separated. Absolutely not a hope. Uh, so that's pretty much it. It's like there's nothing to the PDB is a couple of connectors for them to connect to and that's all it is, a power distribution board. So that's it. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. Don't direct solder to the PDB. This will have to be redone because the solder is absolutely terrible and there's no heat shrink on it. Until next time. Take care, good luck, and learn from my mistakes.